Good morning, my friends. It's Friday, March 5th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun, Kate. My little cat just finished eating her breakfast. Maybe she'll be back. But I do have with me this cross and two stones from Philippi that help me pray. We continue in the prophet Jeremiah this morning, and Jeremiah is trying to bargain with God. God is saying, I'm gonna come and destroy Judah. They've been so unfaithful. They've been whoring and adulterous and running after other gods. Jeremiah says, what if there's just one good person in Jerusalem? Will you spare the city? It reminds us it's an echo of Abraham begging for the salvation of Sodom, the city of Sodom. And he says to God, if, if there are 50 righteous people, would you spare it? And God says, I'll spare it. And Abraham takes him down to 30 and 20 and 10. Evidently, God doesn't find 10 righteous people in Sodom because after Lot, Abraham's nephew and his family is taken out, the city is in fact destroyed. But the point that Jeremiah and Abraham are trying to make is that there's power in a good person. Just one good person doing the right thing can change the course of history, can save a city, can save the world. Just a few days ago, I was conned on the phone. I. I'm still fairly naive, and I got a text saying that uh, Amazon had my Amazon account had been charged um, for a, a lot of money, and so call this number. I call the number, and these very professional-sounding um, Indian men said, and it sounded like there was a whole company in the background, and they told me I had been hacked, and I had to go buy a security card, and I thought, okay, and I literally got in the car and went to Publix. And they guided me to the gift card section. It was then when I realized this was a scam. They wanted me to buy a Target gift card and give it to them. Once I said, hey, wait a minute, this doesn't sound right, click, they got off the phone. I felt very discouraged. Who does that? Such bright young men who could do so much, obviously, because they're able to figure out who I am and call my cell phone, what are they doing? Trying to get money out of innocent people who are scared and anxious and technologically naive like me. It made me feel some despair about the state of the world. But as I was exiting the grocery store, I, I saw this man help this woman with her groceries and smile at her. And I realized there are still good people, many in fact. And as long as we are together, those of us who try to make the world a better place, we do have power. There is a struggle going on for the heart and soul of humanity, for the character of people. Who you are is important. Jeremiah says all it would have taken was one, one good person in Jerusalem. That's a pretty small percentage there. That's all that was needed. Goodness can spread just like evil. Character can spread just like selfishness. Let us influence for the good today and not be discouraged. Be encouraged. Be good, and others will follow. And that takes courage, my friends. It takes great courage. Let us pray. Almighty God, you bring us in safety to this new day, this strange day in the transition as we begin to see signs of life at the end of this pandemic. Guide us to be true to you. Guide us to be people of character and goodness, even in the face of injustice, even when it is harder to tell the truth than it is to lie. 
Help us to follow our Lord Jesus and in so doing to impact this world and influence others to be good as well. Bless the sick today, Lord. Bless the lonely. Bless those who have died and those who are mourning. Guide us to do your will in all that we undertake, each step, each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, looks like she came back for seconds. No wonder she's bad. <laughs> God bless you. Have a great day.